Hello everybody on YouTube and all the NBA fans out there. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my uh, picks for my, well actually my thoughts about it so far in the 2018-2019 NBA season. Here they are. Well, just yesterday I gave you my thoughts about the NHL season. Now I'm going to give you my thoughts about the, the NBA season so far. See how's everyone going with that. Well, I'll tell you about it. It's a little bit of surprise. It's a little bit of disappointments. Yesterday, for my NHL videos, I did my surprise videos. Now I'm going to start with my disappointing team so far. We're going to kick things off on the disappointing team right now. It's probably the um, the LA Lakers, who are ranked ninth in the West right now. And now, and now because of that, Lenzo Ball is hurt, in which I don't think Lenzo Ball is not much of a great of an NBA player. But to be honest with you, I think it, it's kind of like what happened to the Lakers. I mean... They thought they'd get this big signing, and, and everyone expected Le uh, LeBron James is going to do some good stuff for the Lakers. But right now, it doesn't look like it's a possibility right now. Just because you have one great big superstar doesn't mean you're a great uh, you're a great player. Doesn't mean you're going to make the team success. Sure, you may have got the Lakers uh, to one of the worst NBA in the West to like to the um, right under the um, top ten in the league, definitely. But you need a lot more than that in the West to compete in there. You need like somebody like. James Harden, you need somebody like, guys like that. You need a guy like that for the Lakers, or or Anthony Davis, or players like that. You know, no. And the other disappointing team in the West is probably the Minnesota Timberwolves, because I expect the Timberwolves to be, like, in the playoff standings, like in the top five, but right now it doesn't look like it's going to be that way, because they're fighting for getting in the playoffs, too, like the Lakers are. So I kind of thought it would be like, okay, what I've now... Both the Lakers are 25 and 23, and the Timberwolves are 22 and 24, to be exact, on that. But, you know, other than that, though, I mean, the Timberwolves, I expected with Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, I expect it right now to have some great success right now. But looks like they need a coaching change. I think that could be the answer for the Timberwolves. This helps something up for the, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And, of course, you got the Pelicans, who you expect to be right in the, in the rankings. But now Anthony Davis is getting pissed off about the Pelicans, so... And he wants to be out of there, which I hope my Celtics can get him personally, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But, you know, it is what it is with that. Uh, of course, um, and now with um, that's, and the San Antonio and the, and the, um, the Phoenix Suns are in first, last place in that division right now. I thought the, the Phoenix Suns would be in the top ten teams in the West right now with um, Devin Booker and, um, oh my God, the, the one they, we tried to get, uh, Josh Reagans. The, I thought there would be a little bit of success right now, but but right now it's not going that way. It looks like they want to get another draft pick, which is kind of smart at their part too, so they get a third guy to compete in the in there. So that's a little interesting note on that. But anyways, on the flip side, the Eastern Conference, I exploit the Eastern Conference has always been the weak team. The West has always been the strong team, always will be the strong division, always will be. No doubt about it. It's not like the Chicago Bulls in the 90s when the East are dominant. Not like that. But, but anyways, to the disappointing teams in the um, in the in the Eastern Conference in the right now, probably my Boston Celtics would be one of them. I expected. I don't get me wrong. They're in the top five, which I kind of expected that. But I expected to be in the top three. I, I really did. You know, with Jay, with um, Jason Tatum and um, Kyrie Irving. Gordon Haywood, you expect to do something in there, being the top, at least in the top three. Which I'll get to the top three in a minute. There's a surprise team I I gotta tell you about about that. But a anyways, anyways, um, going into that though is um, going into that it's just like what what's going on? I mean, I think it's tough love they need, like they mentioned. Uh, they probably look at to get Anthony Davis. Who knows? Anyways, but they're hanging on in there in the top five. Don't doubt about it. But can they have an, another big run like they did in the last year without Gordon Haywood, without Kawhi Leonard? I mean, uh, without um, yeah, without Kyrie Irving. Excuse me, I just lost my train of thought. But anyways, yeah, think about that. You know, think about that. You know, I'm like, can they have a without uh, Gordon Haywood, without uh, Kyrie? Do you think they have much better success? But, well, who knows? But but Terry Rozier is doing well right now for us. Jason Tatum. Hey, hey, hey. Well, my cat's coming up here. I tried to fight over it, see if, see if there, but hey, she got in. But anyways, anyways, that being said, you know, 
That being said, I mean, that's one of the other big disappointing teams. My other disappointing team. So yeah, Coco. Yeah, Coco's back. But anyways, that being said, uh, my other disappointing team I would I would have is probably the um, probably the Wizards right now. I don't know what what John Wall's thinking or what's going on in that organization right now. The Wizards, I expect the Wizards to be in like in the top in conversation. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be over there. <laughs> That's my little area. Sorry, I'm talking to my cat. Anyways, anyways. What I expect is, um, for the Wizards, I thought they were going to do a, be in the playoff success like they did before. So I'm kind of like, yeah, hitting the, hitting the miss about it. So I kind of like, what's going on? It's kind of like the same problem with the Celtics. Don't they need a, a little bit of tough love or something? I don't know. Maybe a coaching change? I don't know. Anyways, uh, now let's get to my surprise teams. On my surprise team list, though, I... Was on on the Western Conference side though is the Denver Nuggets right now, in which the Denver Nuggets are really um playing smart basketball right now. They're in there for they were the number one team on the West for a little while. In fact, they had the best record for a while. Now they're dropped down to number two in the Western Conference and number two, the second best team in the league right now under the Golden State Warriors. It's like I had a feeling Golden State Warriors are gonna come back anyways. You know, come on, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, you know. Yeah, Stephon Curry, come on, you, you can't beat all that. I mean, the Golden State Warriors right now are the New England Patriots in the NBA. Pretty much. Steve Carr knows what he's doing. Hey, plain and simple. But in the NBA, you need at least two or, or two or more NBA superstars. That's the Golden State Warriors. But the Denver Nuggets, it's kind of like, where do they just come from, really? I mean, where do they come from? But anyways, I mean, I was kind of surprised about the Nuggets, how they're playing this year. I didn't expect the Nuggets to be in the playoff run, or at least be in the top, like, succeeding in the Western Conference. And look, when they're in the number two in the standings right now. So it's kind of like, whoa, where, where, all of a sudden, where do they come from? So I expected the Rockets and the Warriors to be in, in that in that top two in the Western Conference. Now the Rockets are at number, number five, so I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? So, anyways, my other surprise team in the Eastern Conference Finals is the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, the Brooklyn Nets, um, they're 25 and 23, like the LA Lakers. They're, they're, play, they're playing really good. I expect they'll have a, like a downer for like, the longest time after they give up all the draft picks like from my Boston Celtics, like, which got, in, what my, Mar, uh, they got Marcus Smart out of it, Jason Tatum. And they traded it. The Sixers draft pick so to the Sixers on the year before when we got Jason Tatum. So I was like, whoa, whoa. So anyway, I, so right now what the Nets doing? No, if I were the Nets right now, I would sign down somebody like Anthony Davis right now or something. Let's get some team, get some team momentum down there. So anyway, so that's my surprise team on the list. So here's what I'm now. Here's my my thoughts what may happen in the season. Okay, as as of right now, where the season heading right now, the probably the what I think was gonna go in so far is gonna be in the top in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's probably gonna be the Milwaukee Bucks and the and the Toronto Raptors. The Milwaukee Bucks has answered the question: Who's gonna lead to success after LeBron James left Cleveland? Which my case scenario, I expected Cleveland to be in last place, which they are. So, anyways, Giannis, I kept, I kept the little little blah blah blah. It, it's a kind of like a mess up word. Giannis um, Ateco Tumbo, who is um, probably the biggest star right now in the Eastern Conference co side, though. He is um, on the MVP candidate now. He is playing lights out, shooting at all the NBA level. And he's going to get MVP, no doubt about that. No doubt about it. But with the Raptors, with Kawhi Leonard, who would have thunk it? Now the Sixers are coming in there with Ben Simmons and coming in there, and you got the Pacers. And my Celtics, which I kind of expected the Pacers and I mean the Celtics and Sixers being the top five conversation, but not the Pacers though. That's one of my other surprise things. The uh, the Pacers are playing really good bas solid basketball right now and things like that. So if the Celtics can um, get a, keep momentum after the All Star break or right now, which the Celtics are on four in a row right now, and they're doing pretty doing pretty solid. You know, not really good, but anyways, anyways, um, one. The bottom line is, bottom line is this: 
Whoever's in the top five in the Eastern Conference, they're probably going to fight for the Eastern Conference Finals. No doubt about it. So, it could be the Celtics and the Bucks. It could be the Celtics and Raptors. It could be anybody, really. But I expect it to be the Raptors and the Bucks. Not the Raptors. Maybe the Raptors again. They'll probably go over the hump, I think. So, I think that's could happen this year. So, I'm going to guess I think the Kawhi Leonard was the answer to that. So, I'm like, yeah, you never know. But anyway, so that being said, though, it's going to be, if they, the Raptors go to the Eastern Conference Finals and they have to play the Bucks, I think the Bucks are going to win it, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So I'm like, I think the, the team to beat right now in the East is the Milwaukee Bucks. No doubt. No doubt. Giannis is playing MVP level, possibly MVP of the NBA this year. It's going to be coming down to those two. So what I, what, wouldn't be surprised me? No. Will it, will it possibly happen? Definitely. Hey, you never know. But anyways, though, anyways, anyways, um, going into the um, Western Conference Finals, what may happen, it might come down to the Golden State Warriors, as always. They're probably going to come out again, you know, the, and, it, and it's going to be like the New England Patriots all getting sick and tired of the Warriors and things like that. But it could be going down with the Nuggets this year, but it's possibly it will. Could be the Nuggets, or it could be the Trailblazers or the Oklahoma City Thunder. So the good thing about the Thunder is, though, they have a lot of people like Paul George. I think Paul George is still there, if I remember right. And um, and, it, and they got um, Russell Westbrook, who is definitely stepping up to his level. And they've got an MVP candidate without Kevin Durant there, which is kind of really amazing. And the Trailblazers are coming in a little bit. They're sneaking up on everybody. Excuse me, I sneezed a little bit. Sorry, I I had I sneezed. That's why I paused it. But anyways, what I was saying before is um. The other team that's kind of surprising right now is the Utah Jazz. I mean, like, I I didn't expect the Jazz would be, like, in the eighth in the playoffs. I'm fine with the Lakers, to be honest. I thought the, they'll be with the Kings in the bottom of the barrel, which the Kings are actually in the top ten in the Western Conference right now. And they have a 500 record, too. But anyways, anyways, what what's going to happen, I think? It's going to come down to at least the Rockets, the Blazers, the Thunder, and the Nuggets, and the Warriors. Could be Warriors and Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals. But it's going to be the Nuggets. I mean, uh, excuse me, it's going to be the Warriors, but I'm probably rooting for the Nuggets, really. But anyways, what that being said, but the, I think it's going to be like this, like the NFL the recent years, number one versus number one. Same thing in the NBA, number one versus number one, because it's going to be the Bucks. It could be the Warriors, so in the NBA Finals, you never know. Things can change, things can change. But anyways, anyways, what I'm thinking is, I think the when it's come down, whoever's the number one in number in in the East, number one in the West, they're gonna meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. I don't expect the Cinderella story coming around in the NBA. They haven't done like that with the Celtics like the last few years. So, anyway, it's gonna come down to that. And I think this is definitely Giannis's year. Definitely, no doubt about that. He may get it. He may upset the Warriors. Possibly. Will I say any will? I don't know. We'll find out during playoff time. So. I'm going to do an NBA video on that, so see how that one turns out. Anyways, so uh, that's going to wrap up my NBA thoughts of the, for the 2018-2019 season. We're going to see see what happens in Playoff Mound and then after that. And Until then, I'll see you guys all next week during my Super Bowl predictions. This is Andrew Warren, signing off. Peace.